we're now going to bring you the uh, last few seconds of the flyweight uh, championship um, a wee bit later on but here we are and we are in the bantamweight division and we feature Guillermo Ortiz in action against uh, Rahim Rustamod. So Guillermo Rigondo, as he's uh, commonly known, from Cuba, and we've already seen one upset, which will, uh, in fact, we've seen two upsets, which we'll bring you details of a wee bit later on. So here we are then, and uh, Rahim Ra uh, Rustam Rahimov of Germany in the red strip. Four two-minute rounds, all of these contests, of course, you may remember that, and uh, they are scored by five ringside judges with uh, computers who must press their button within three seconds of each other. In fact, three of the five must press their button within one second of each other to register a blow for the red or blue corner. And it's as simple as that. So Rustam Rahimov then of Germany in the red against Guillermo Rigondo of Cuba. And Rigondo, I've got to say, Alan Minter, a terrific exponent of boxing. Yeah, I mean, um, we, watched, we watched both these, these leads... Um, in the semis yesterday and um, very they both had quite hard fights but now we're in the final and uh, they, you know they're picking they're jabbing they're taking their time um, they're not going to sort of um, rush in and might get a headbutt or something but it's very very um, technical boxing so far indeed and uh, Rigondo by the way twice Olympic champion he won it in Sydney in 2000 and of course uh, last year in Athens and looking to become the first Cuban boxer to win four Olympic championships. Six times national champion from 2000 to 2005. He's got a very good defense and a mighty punch. And as you can see, he's winning by 4-1 at the moment. Undefeated in four years as an amateur boxer. And the other thing, which I also mentioned yesterday, he was actually voted Rookie of the Year across all sports in Cuba. And that takes some doing, Alan, because when you consider how good the Cubans are at sport at all levels and, of course, across all disciplines, yeah. I mean, that was quite something, wasn't it? Unbelievable. I mean, um, see, the thing is, as I, as I mentioned yesterday, you know, if, if, you're a, if you're a sportsman in Cuba, you're looked after, you're nursed, you know, you're given the best of everything, and it's your living. It's what you do 24-7 and um, they enjoy it and that's why they're, they're much more um, competitive than we are at the moment absolutely and Rahimov by the way the final German left in the competition here and he got a bronze medal in the Olympic Games last year but he was a flyweight then this is of course the bantamweight division one up he also got a bronze medal in the European Championships last year and the world's in 2003 but as I say a division lower than this so Guillermo Rigondo then, very, very decent boxer, just 25 uh, years of age. Won the World Championships, by the way, in Belfast in 2001. So, very experienced at this level, Alan. Sorry, Steve. Very experienced at this level. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's um, incredible. I mean, um, to get through to these, especially to the finals, you know, there's, there's been a lot of class boxers in this tournament. But to get through to this this far is, you know, there's something special. Yes, and Rigondo, by the way, one of five Cubans left in the uh, tournament here at the final stage, um, pipping the Russians who came in with four. So Guillermo Rigondo then in the blue strip. Slightly shorter than Rahimov, but very good at what he does. South Porter boot. Yes, he's a defensive master, isn't he, Rigondo? And with a very good punch. Yeah, not, not rushing in or anything. He's just backing off behind the jab, trying to, trying to draw the, the, the um, German in and um, having a great deal of success. Let me just remind you, uh, we've seen the light flyweights and the flyweights. These are the bantamweights, of course. And then we go the feathers, the lights, the welters, the middleweights, the light heavyweights, the heavies, and the super heavies. That's what we've got for you today. All, of course, live from Yan Yang. Nice right there from the German, and it's scored. 
So Rustam Rahimov then in the red, looking to pick his punches here. He's only two points behind, so it's not beyond him, Alan. No, I mean, I mean, what, what I've seen so far, you know, he's he, he's wait he's waiting, Rostov, and um, he's connecting with lovely lovely jabs, but um, you know, what, what he's doing, he's not throwing enough punches. He's throwing a, a couple of jabs, backing off, letting the Cuban draw, come in, and take over the point. Of course, one of the reasons behind that is a simple fact. Every time that uh, Rahimov does go forward, he finds that the Rigondo retreats very, very yeah, quickly. Yeah, yeah. Another round then for uh, Rigondo there. So, Guillermo Rigondo Ortiz. There he is, very confident young man. Already twice Olympic champion and world champion and looking to become a four-time Olympic champion. Of course, uh, there are a couple of Cubans have won the uh, Olympic title on three occasions. Teofilio Stevenson, of course, the first. Felix Savon, the second. And uh, one other, a Hungarian by the name of Laszlo Papi, was a terrific boxer. Um, both amateur and professional. But it's never been done by anybody else before or since. So, Guillermo Regondo coming out then with a... A reasonably healthy lead in, in a fairly quiet but tense bantamweight final, Alan. Yeah, well, there's no fireworks at the moment. They, 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 they've no need to, to um, rush in and try and knock each other out. But um, what it is, experience, technology, you know, it's, it's, they're, they're boxing nice and sensibly. You know, you can see that there now there's no fireworks and um, they're just enjoying it and just picking up the scores and picking up the points not getting marked, not getting hurt, and enjoying what they're doing. Got to say also, both these men have had tougher bouts on the way to the final. But, uh, you know, we, we said earlier that the cream rises to the top. And, uh, you know, you get some classy operators at this level. Of that, there is no doubt. Well, they've had, the, they've had the wars all the way through from the first bout until the semi-finals. Now they're actually in the final. So, you know, all they've got to do is try to... No, they're not going to sort of bash each other up. All they want to do is win sensibly on points, nice and comfortably. We also spoke yesterday about uh, conserving a bit of energy for the final contest. Um, that can be quite dangerous, can't it? Because you tend not to do quite enough. Well, that happens. I mean, that happens, Steve. But, um, you, know, you, you know, you know the capability of your opponent. You know the, your capabilities. And you just go in there and, and just to try, try your very best. If the other guy does something a little bit special, you, have, you, you then change gear to rise to their ability. Absolutely. Well, a six-point lead here for Rigondo. And we are, of course, in round three. All of the bouts scheduled for four twos. They used to be three threes. And let's face it, Alan, a real sprint, these four two-minute rounds, aren't they? I mean, if you oh, fall behind, man. you've had it. Yeah, I mean, you know... I mean, you watch all these contests now, I mean, as the bell sounds for the, for the round to start, within a matter of seconds, the bell starts, to, goes again to finish it. I'll tell you something, Steve, I used to always lose the first round in every bout I had. So, being two minute rounds, I, would never get, I don't think I would ever get into the fight. <laughs> <laughs> so there you are still. 12-6 then for Rigondo at the end of three rounds. He's got one more to go. And he's really taking this one very, very comfortably. Yeah, but those uh, when you lost the first round in virtually every international contest yeah. you had as an amateur, was that because you were actually taking a look at your opponent, seeing what he was well, capable of? It's not so much as an amateur, it was the same as a pro. I never I don't think in, in the in the whole of my career I ever won a first round. Um, always lost the first round, but always won, won the last. <laughs> well, that's why we were putting it. <laughs> so the best time to get you was early on then? <laughs> that's right, yeah. <laughs> He's a very surly young man, isn't he, Rigondo? Doesn't smile very much. Doesn't smile, respected, knows, knows his ability, knows what quality he has. And um, winning nice and comfortably at the moment, and um, no worries, no worries at all. Indeed. So Rustam time, Rahimov then. Well, he's going to get the silver medal out of this. Um, and that you can't argue with. Rahimov, by the way, several times a national German champion. Got a bronze medal in the European Championships uh, last year. 
and a bronze in the World Championships two years prior to that, but as I say, as a flyweight. So Guillermo Rigondo, they're not really uh, breaking sweat here particularly, but, you know, we've often said sometimes to do think to make things look easy you work exceptionally hard don't you yeah i mean we're watching um, we're watching uh i've gone down now the cuban and um not not even not one punch yet on target flicking throwing punches hitting the german's glove he opened up just uh just a little bit then but um he knows what he's doing um very very experienced i mean as you said double olympic champion which is something very, very special. So he's got no worries here. He's just, you know, enjoy, enjoying the night. Well, the crowd you may uh, have heard a few moments ago were getting quite vocal about these two and their lack of effort. But as I was just saying, you know, to make it look easy, you've got to work very, very hard. And I remember Pat Brogan saying, people say he was lucky. He says, yeah, the harder I work, the luckier I get. <laughs> and that's the kind of... Uh, same sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. Exactly the same. You know, they, 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 both these boys, you know, they respect each other. They, you know, they, they, what they've done in amateur boxing is phenomenal. So there's, you know, in, there's, you won't see any fireworks. You just, you'll just see a little bit of class boxing. And, of course, this is uh, Rahimov's biggest achievement so far in amateur boxing circles. He may well turn professional after this, but he's going to pull a silver medal out of these world championships, so good luck to him. And Rigondo, of course, will become a double world champion. And once again, the crowd not enjoying this uh, lack of a spectacle, really. They expected more. But I must be honest, I didn't. No, I mean, I mean the Cubans done enough. Um, box sensibly. No fireworks in this... In, in this particular contest and um, but mind you the German didn't do much more you know although the German was you know lo losing on points and he knew in it and he knew that he never once tried to put pressure on the Cuban indeed well I've got a feeling here that Rahimov knew exactly what he was in yeah. for and, and just you know he boxed sensibly I suspect without really taking too many chances like you're saying that's right you know he, you know he's, he's won the championship um, not a mark on him. Um, box well yesterday and a comfortable win today. So there you are then. Rigondo is the reigning world champion, gold medalist, and of course Rahimov takes the silver back to Germany.